Good morning, everybody. God is here and welcome to our third collective worship so like this. And we're revisiting uh, the main Christian values that we think about in school. And so far, hopefully you can remember, we've looked at hope and we've looked at love. And this week we're looking at joy or happiness. I'm going to look at those things that bring us joy or happiness. And I want to start by thinking about a box and imagining the biggest box you could imagine. Who wouldn't want a really big box of things? And in that box for me, in that big, big box for me, are items that make me happy. They're also worth quite a bit of money, such is the size of the box. So I might have my television. Oh, I like to watch my television. I might have my car with things that I really appreciate this time of year, like warm seats and a lovely heater. I might have that. I might even have my bike that's fairly high in value, not riding it outside too much at the minute. And I might even have, where I'm sat at the minute, my house. Massive items. Huge, huge items in my big box of happiness. But actually, strangely, those big, big items aren't the items that make me most happy. Because I've also got a small box of happiness. And in that small box of happiness are written just four words because the box is so small. But do you know, in that small box, those things make me even more happy than those big, big items that are worth a lot of money. I wonder, have I talked to either the people at home or the people in class and tell them what do you think will be in? That small box of happiness that makes me even more happy. Have a talk to those people. So, what are the four items? Almost think I could do a lovely conveyor belt here, but it wouldn't quite work because they're really words. So the first thing that it would be in my little box of happiness that makes me really happy is time. Because we all feel a little bit rushed sometimes. And some of the most special times and the happiest times I have are when I've got plenty of time and there's really nothing on. I'm not looking at my watch all the time thinking I've got to do this and I've got to do that. So time is really special. And it connects with my second one because my second item in my little box of happiness will be family. Because time with family, with my two boys, um, at home is something that I love, whether it's just simple things that we do at the minute, like going for a walk or having a snowball fight, as we might have done a, a few weeks ago. Those sorts of things with family are really, really special, as are time with friends. And friends would be my next word. That's a little bit tricky at the minute, isn't it? Because we aren't really able to see our friends much, but we know that day will come. And when that moment comes, when we're able to see our friends a little bit more, then it's going to be really special. So I'm really looking forward to that. And the last one is kindness. Kindness is the last thing. And I think at the minute in my box of happiness, my little box of happiness, things that are really, really special, I think that's the most important thing. So can you put your hands together and bow your head for the prayer? Dear God, teach us not to want more and more things, but to treasure the most important things. Help us to recognise that things in life that, that hold true value, the things that bring us real happiness, such as wonderful experiences and memories and special people and frat, uh, family and friends. Amen. OK, I want you to think about this th this week. Think about those those things that really bring you happiness and think about those people and those times that make you happy. Bye, everybody.